Hey, welcome back to Etheric Tide. This is Lauren with our August readings 2020 for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising. And we've also got the Lion's Gate on August 8th, so 8 8. And it's kind of like a portal between who we were, who we want to be, how we saw reality, and how we're going to see reality from then on. Pisces. What have we got for you, Pisces? Hey. Oof, there we go. All right. So to start with, I'm going to take that one. Judgment. Now, <clears throat> judgment is usually associated with um, the past coming back. Like, I mean, these, this is the dead rising in this image. Um, the thing is Gabriel's horn is uh, trumpeting and raising the dead and it's interesting because it's almost like I've looked at this card a few times but I haven't necessarily focused on the people that are rising out of the coffins and it looks as though they are being drawn rather than having a ch choice like I think the way that I'm interpreting it today is like the people that are going to be drawn to you in the coming month it's almost like they have no choice in the matter and it, it might be that your attraction point is going to be so strong at the moment that you're literally going to be like attracting people left, right, and center, and you'll be like, whoa, how, like, oh, yeah, mm -hmm. we've got ourselves the three of swords here, but it's in the reverse, so, okay, you're going to have, like, exes and people from your past just showing up out of nowhere, and you're going to be like, whoa why are you here and it could even be like it's so clear to you that you don't want to even entertain being with that person anymore so it's not like oh an ex comes back and you're like oh I totally want to I totally want to try again like no it's going to be so clear to you that you do not want this you do not want to try again you do not want to reconnect with this person um you, you're just going to be having like all of these different connections just drawn to you and you know why it's because whatever was connecting you to them before whatever hold was um whatever resistance or whatever you had before that resistance is gone um and that's why they feel that you've moved on they feel that you are in a better place now than you were when then you were in like connection to them and that makes you unbelievably attractive um attractive energetically as well as um i guess in the physical world um our our connections all the connections that we've had in the past we we create like an etheric tether like an etheric cord with them and the stronger the cord, the stronger the connection, the more the other person feels that connection. And in situations where we break up with a partner and we we wish that they what we were still with them, or maybe we think about them a lot and we, we really wish they would come back and we want it, we want it so badly that it actually prevents it from happening. And a lot of people uh, experience this phenomena where the moment they stop thinking about them, the moment they stop wanting it, the moment that they uh, start focusing on themselves more than the other person and what that person is doing and who they're with and why they're doing it and how much that they're having a better life than what they are with, with you, uh, the moment you let go of that, that's when they call, that's when they message. And I feel like you're doing so well <laughs> that you're pretty much like trumpeting in all of them. You're just, you're just calling them in. You don't even realize you are. Your energy is so amazing. It's so palpable. It's so potent that you can't help but call in 
all of these people from your past not and not even just like relationships not even just partners you're calling in friends you're calling in family you're just calling everybody in um re wanting to reconnect with you because suddenly you don't need them anymore you don't you're so much more self-sufficient now that um <laughs> you you just don't need them so I think it, it may be confusing to you because like obviously whatever we're vibrating at is what we attract and uh whatever we're not a so as in the reason these people are coming back is because, yes, they're attracted to you because you took away the resistance. However, the reason that you're not allowing them back into your life is because you're not vibrating at the same wavelength that they are anymore. Otherwise, you guys would reconnect and you would go back in that same cycle again because you are both both have that same active vibration. It's possible that you've upgraded your vibration enough that again you've lost the resistance that's why they are now coming back in because they're like oh wow I kind of want that connection again I want I want to re-establish that vibration again that nourishment um, however you're so high flying now that you can't connect to them anymore you don't recognize the vibration they have going on in them in yourself anymore therefore you have zero desire in order to entertain um, reconnecting with them so the way attraction works or the way like point of attraction works is if two people have the same vibration at a high enough rate they attract if one has this type of vibration at a high enough rate and this one doesn't, well then, they repel. So obviously what's happened is you've created a vibration for yourself that is distant enough from what they have and different enough to what you used to have that they want to come in and, and, and get it from you. You just It's just not there anymore. Um, and then what you'll find is by clearing them, by going, yeah, I'm not interested. I'm cool now. Life's great now. Um, I'm, gl I'm glad that you wanted to reconnect. I don't want that anymore. By doing that, you officially clear the old energy. And then that old energy is gone. And now that there's this huge space, guess who comes in? could be a fire sign but it's more so that energy of like oh excitement and passion and new and creative and um all of those juicy good feelings because this is a guy who takes action or a girl this is a person who takes action they don't stuff around. They don't sleep on you. They don't confuse you. Um, I mean, some people like interpret this also as being like the um, kind of like the player card. Um, I don't think that applies in this situation. Um, I think that this is possibly that you had players in the past where they would come in and, and everything could be like high energy to begin with and then they would just like lose interest and go somewhere else because they would entertain other options um you're the one with options now and you're the one that's attracting so many people um so many incredible options for passion and love and excitement oh it's wonderful i love it i love this energy for you in in this month um, you're finally going to be letting go of old energy, which leaves a great big hole for <gasps> wonderful, new, passionate energy. And then you know what? Like, universe doesn't like space. They'll just fill it. they got to fill it. So um, 
awesome month for you for August Pisces. Hope that resonates. Let me know in the comments. Um, like and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this when they come out. And uh, if you want any personal readings, details are down below. Thanks very much. Have a good month. Bye.